Hello everyone, my name is Liv and welcome to a new vlog. Today I am going to Goodwill with my best friend Sarah and we are going to just thrift and see what they have there. And Goodwill is just full of happy accidents and whenever I go there I usually find something that I really really love and really want to take home. So I wanted to take you there with me because a lot of people have asked me for more fashion and clothing types of videos and while I'm not going to be doing lookbooks and clothing hauls anytime soon because I'm not a big clothing buyer I do buy some things here and there in thrift stores So I wanted to take you with me today to see if I find anything cool But before we go thrifting I do want to share my current read with you because I feel like I don't do that often I only ever talk about the books that I've already read and I give you reviews about them But I never talk about my current reads because I don't vlog often So my current read is The Escape Room by Megan Golden This is a book that I got in the mail from Booksparks because I was partnering with them for the summer And it's a book that I've been looking for for, for a couple of months now because I've always been thinking about the fact that I want a book centered in an escape room because I've done two so far in my lifetime and I really enjoy them. I think they're very interesting and I finally found this book and it is about a bunch of corporate people who go to an escape room as kind of a corporate bonding exercise but then they realize that this escape room is much more sinister and much more personal and much more intrusive than a normal escape room and actually it's much more deadly than a regular escape room. So this is much more of a thriller and mystery type of a book because I've been on a thriller and mystery kick and I am only 55 pages through. It's not gripping me like the other thrillers I've been reading throughout the month so far in October, but I feel like it might pick up. I feel like since I'm only 55 pages through the book, I can't really judge it, but I will say that right now I'm not that into it. I'm not that into it plot-wise, but I feel like it's definitely going to pick up. And yesterday I went to the library and I picked up the read that I'm going to read after I read The Escape Room, and it is The Last. And this is by Hannah Jameson. And this kind of follows the same trope as The Escape Room because I'm trying to read books all with the same trope just to fill my need for this one specific trope. And I call the trope a one setting or a close quarters trope, where a bunch of characters are in one place, maybe like a hotel or a school or an island, and they're all stuck in one place. They're not necessarily friends with each other. They're much more like strangers. And they go through life-threatening circumstances, and they have to kind of work together or become rivals in order to survive. So the last is about an apocalypse that recently swept through the entire earth, and 20 people show up to this one specific hotel. They're all there to survive the apocalypse and the disease that is spreading throughout the earth. And while they're at the hotel, a murder happens and they all kind of go against each other because if there's 20 people, you have to trust those 20 people to survive. So when the murder happens, they all go against each other and they have to figure out who did it while also trying to survive the apocalypse. So this is a one setting and close quarter novel that I'm very excited about and I'm very excited to read. And I just keep on looking over at it and I'm trying to finish the escape room very quickly so I could get to this. This book. But enough of book talk, let's go thrifting because I'm actually kind of really late to pick up Sarah, but let's not tell her that. Anyway, let's go thrifting.
So we are back from Goodwill and while I did love that blue velvet dress that I tried on that fit perfectly, it was a little bit too tight so I knew if I gained any weight, I wouldn't be able to wear it anymore. So it was a very temporary dress that I didn't want to waste money on so I put it back. But I did end up getting this beautiful little piece of art. It reminds me of Studio Ghibli and it's just beautiful watercolor and it's so peaceful and it's exactly what I want my house to look like in the future. So. I got it not for the frame but mostly for the art so I'm going to keep it for a future place of mine so that's the only thing that I got from Goodwill and now we're back home and we're going to watch Mindhunter and eat some lunch and hang out. So I completely forgot to film an outro for my vlog, but basically my day was full of thrifting, watching Mindhunter, visiting Barnes and Nobles, and then completely tearing apart my room to prepare for painting it tomorrow. And I don't want to show you my room, it looks so messy right now, and I know I'm going to have so many hours of me reorganizing my room. But I hope you enjoyed it this day. It's a very short vlog. It's just a little glimpse into my life because I know a lot of you have been asking for more of that. I sadly did not get any clothes from Goodwill, but that is totally fine with me because I got a nice piece of artwork and I am just obsessed over it. And it is by Nancy Roberts and she is just a wonderful artist. And I'm so glad I found her in Goodwill and I'm able to have that piece of art from her. And it is definitely a find that I'm very happy with. So I hope you enjoyed this little thrift store, bookstore, hanging out vlog. It's a very casual vlog. Let me know if you want me to do any more of these in the future. And I'll be sure to do that as well. And if I sound weird, it's because I'm wearing my retainers. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for giving me video ideas. Thank you so much for just encouraging me to make more videos. And just for being so nice to me. It means the world to me. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Let me know if you found anything wonderful recently in a thrift store. And let me know if any of you have seen Mind Tundra as well. Because that is most definitely my second favorite show of all time besides Peaky Blinders. So I will see you in another video. Bye!